Hey guys, it's Kyle from PureHockey.com here. Today we have a very special guest, we have Ken Casey of the Dropkick Murphys. We were lucky enough to work with Ken and his band, uh, along with True Hockey, to create a very special, very one-of-a-kind stick that you're only going to find at PureHockey.com and at Pure Hockey stores. Uh, so, Ken, obviously the first thing, those around Boston know you're very, very passionate about hockey, New England sports in general, and you want to speak to that passion a little bit. Well, first of all, let's just say how excited we are to have a stick. There's some things you get to, you, know, you have an album, you have a goal with them. We might be just as excited about our own hockey stick as, uh, <laughs> as anything in our career. Um, you know, obviously, when the band started out, we wore our influences and our passions on our sleeves. Maybe music wasn't always fashionable to, you know, especially like in the world we came up of, like punk rock, to be like all about sports, but like we. That's who we are, and you know, going back to I think maybe it was 2002 or something, we wrote the song "Time to Go" about the Bruins, you know, and it, none of that was to get like, you know, publicity for the band. It was just like about that song was about my life growing up, going to the garden as a teenager, taking the train in, you know, and um, you know when you come up, you know, off the Orange Line, how just the old Causeway Street atmosphere and stuff, and you know, so it was just huge fans, and um. You know, we, we sing about it, we write about it, we, we rub it in other cities' faces when we go there. Sometimes we have to fight about it when, we, when we're trying to get out of there. But um, it's it's just who we are and what we love, you know. Yeah, I know you, you just mentioned, obviously, you're, you're really excited to have your, you know, the band's own hockey stick here. If you're a hockey player yourself, is that uh, is that a something you picked up as an adult playing your whole life? or? I uh, didn't play. I mean, I always played. You grow up around here and play, but, uh, you know, my, I single parent who worked full time so I didn't play a lot of organized hockey as a kid but uh, always loved the game always played pond hockey and then my kids all play now so I'm at the rink constantly uh, they're definitely excited about the sticks you know uh, True's been super good to them with uh, many a custom stick with their name on it I said do you know how good you guys have it now you got a dropkick Murphy stick they'll probably still like their own sticks with their names on it better than these so but uh, a lot of my other friends and their kids are excited and stuff, so yeah, it's cool. Now uh, let's talk about a little bit about the stick, kind of how how uh, did this come about? Obviously, you said you, you've had a kind of relationship with with True Hockey, and uh, how did this come to be and the idea get kicked around? Well, True's been great to us and um, great to our charity, the Clatter Fund, and uh, Pio Hockey's, you know, a great local company, and we thought that the this, the, the partnership of of the three of us is a perfect uh, perfect mix. We're happy to see it in the stores you know and i'm happy to just have it available to our fans and you know if you can make something cool and raise money for charity at the same time everybody's winning you know yeah i mean it's, it's something we're really happy to be a part of and it's it, it came out better than we could have expected now you mentioned your charity the clatter fund so i want to ask you kind of how did that come about what was your inspiration to found it and um how did that all start i think when the band with the nature of the band and we were always kind of community oriented just our roots here and big families and knew a lot of the people in the city before even the van started so when we gained some popularity obviously to be able to play acoustic or something at, at benefits or um, you know donate sign things that could raise money at auctions or tickets to our St. Patrick's Day shows we've always been involved in charitable work and it was actually Bobby Orr um, who I'm lucky enough to become uh, friends with you know over the course of the time in the band mostly through charity work and he said you need to start your own foundation and capture the imagination of your fans and you know you'll and he was right because you know it was great doing all this splinted charity work but to do it under like the umbrella of a flag that we were waving you know got every fan of the band whether it's their parents whether it's a kid sending his last five bucks from his you know allowance in or whatever um, we've raised you know millions of dollars and, and you know for local organizations that we we're already connected with. We support causes that uh, help addiction, um, addiction treatment, uh, children's charities, and veterans charities. And you know, there's plenty of uh, help that's obviously needed in all those areas. So we're honored to uh, have a, our own foundation that that does cool stuff and raises money for you know programs that we admire. No, that's that's awesome. It's a, it's an awesome cause, and bringing obviously, like you said, bringing your fans into it is uh, is. Very, very and we always try to do it in ways that are like you know interesting and fun, not like stiff charity dinners where everyone just sitting there. You know, we do stuff like the sticks. You know, one time we did Rotten Tomatoes karaoke where people could pay money to throw tomatoes at celebrities while they sang. 
I actually went first, and Jonathan Papelbon hit me with a 95-mile-an-hour tomato right in the head. <laughs> Literally knocked me off my feet. I was think I was concussed. We started cutting the tomatoes in half after that. But um, <laughs> and we try to do just stuff that keeps, you know, it's out of the ordinary, raises money, but people having a fun time as well, you know. I, I had you pegged as a, you know, black tie yeah, black yeah, tie yeah, event kind of guy. Event. No, actually, I, I went to my first black tie. Uh, one of the uh, groups we support, uh, the Dimmick Health Center, which is a great uh, detox facility, uh, they had a black tie event, and I actually got a tux in the whole night. It was the first time I ever put a tux on. I used to skip all my um, proms and all that, you know, in, in school because I wasn't putting on the tux, and now uh, they finally got me in one. Ken, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you for being the inspiration for this stick and for all you do for these my pleasure. Causes. Thank you for carrying it for us. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's the least we can do. Well, Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, you can, uh, you can check out the True Pure Hockey Dropkick Murphy Special Edition Stick to benefit the Clata Fund uh, at your local Pure Hockey or purehockey.com. Thanks again. Thank you, buddy.